Predicting crimes before they start might sound like the reality portrayed in the Hollywood movie Minority Report, but a new computer program is doing just that in the United States and with success. With property crimes costing the U.S. $15 billion in 2012, there is very good reason to invest in prediction protection, as The Wall Street Journal's Michael Kofsky reports. Police patrol the streets of Los Angeles, make a traffic stop, then make an arrest. These scenes might seem like any day in the life of a police officer, but new crime prediction software called PredPol, short for predictive policing, aims to make police work anything but random. It identifies areas in your division that have, are at the highest risk of a crime occurring during a certain time period. Captain Sean Malinowski is the commanding officer at the Foothill Community Police Station, a division of the Los Angeles Police Department, and one of the first departments in the United States to test PredPol. Twice a day, his officers get a list of 20 500 foot by 500 foot boxes to patrol. The most common crimes? Burglary, burglary for motor vehicle and grand theft auto. Out of the 5,100 plus boxes in the whole division, um, these are the ones that have the highest probability. All right, first things first, Fred Pole maps. Uh... After a randomized test run by the department that pitted the software against a human analyst, the results are promising. Burglary had a 25% decrease, and that's 22 times in a week, every week, that somebody came home from work and did not find their house burglarized. So how does it work? Predpol identifies crime generators, places full of people or cars that create opportunities for criminals. If you take your car and you go and park at, let's say, a major transit hub and you're going to take the train downtown, there are lots of people who can see your car and see that you left some money or a laptop sitting on, on the front seat. Predpol also forecasts repeat victimization. If your house was broken into once, there's a higher chance it'll happen again. Offenders say, I like to go back to the places where I was successful before because I know what the risks are. And near repeat victimization. If your home is burglared, your neighbor's home has higher odds it might be too. And why is that? It's because your neighbor's house is a lot like your house. Unlike this clip from Minority Report, Predpol doesn't predict who will commit future crimes, only where a crime might occur. And it actually may reduce the number of arrests by stopping crimes before they start. What I tell the officers is, I need you to disrupt the crime. You know, be in the box and deny the criminal the opportunity to commit the crime. The result? We discovered the narcotics inside the trunk. While shooting our interview with Captain Malinowski, officers returned to the station with this a bag of methamphetamine valued at thousands of dollars, found inside a Predpol box. And later that night, during a routine patrol, officers found this woman with $100,000 worth of warrants out for her arrest. She was sitting in a suspicious car, parked inside one of the Predpol boxes. But was this the result of a computer algorithm, or just some old-fashioned police work? For some, the jury is still out. Unfortunately, it doesn't take into consideration uh, you know, the objective things that we see in the field, the subjective things that officers kind of know intuitively. Sold on it? Nah. But it's a, it's, it's a good attempt. It's a good approach. But Malinowski thinks it does work and that the cost is worth it. When you look at the crime reduction, you know, in a year, you're probably sa saving in cost to society about $2 million just in my division alone. Now installed in police stations from Seattle to South Carolina, Perhaps Predpol will soon save your home from burglary without you ever knowing it.